I mean, I like to know everybody. Alan? I've been great. Healthy, so. Uh, not for it. Right. Been busy. Yeah, I'm not as busy as I was. No. For November 3rd. Oh. So. Uh, the application. Uh, Grant seeking relief from Article 2, Section 2.01, which requires 200 feet of lot width along a public way. Applicant requests a variance to reduce frontage on Freeman Place from 200 feet down to 51.57 feet. The property is located at 27 Park Street. Assessor's map 15202.27, which can be seen at the town clerk's office. Uh, representing the Client. Okay. Uh, for the record, my name is Margaret Bacon. I'm an engineer with Civil Site Engineering, and I'm representing Alexis Heiser here requesting the variance for um, uh, 27 Park Street. Now, I have some bigger plans if that would help. I think you want to ask A couple of extras. I'm, I'm okay. All I'm set. Okay. Thank you. Um, so basically, uh, down here, and, and it's, a, it's, a, it's a large parcel. It's a 37 acre parcel that the frontage is on Park Street, uh, and there's a lot of wetlands down here along Park, Park Street. And then the, up, the nice upland park is uh, right off at the end of Freeman Place. So uh, they do have 51.57 feet of frontage right at the end of the Freeman Place cul de sac. They be able to access this this upland area right here that they would like to uh, subdivide a one and a half, one and a half acre building lot for a single family house. Uh, one other thing I, I did print out, I don't know if this would be helpful to the board at all, but I did print out a uh, uh, wetland map from uh, Mass GIS Oliver. Here, here's Park Street right here. Here's Freeman Place. Uh, this circle's where we'd like to build. And this is the, the property limits right here. But as you can see, all this yellow is a rare species habitat. And then here's all wetlands that all come right down into Park Street. So accessing any type of upland through Park Street would be kind of difficult without, you know, impacting a lot. So so coming in through Freeman Place, they be able to access this upland without any wetland impacts. Yeah. What is the Jim, can I ask question? Can I go ahead? What is what is the uh, upland uh, air, uh, area square footage? Uh, for this lot here or for the entire there's this 37 acre parcel. Okay. Uh, give or give or take. Uh, I don't know exactly how many how percentage of wetland is on that 37 acre parcel. I'd probably say a good percentage. Okay. If not 50 percent or greater, a lot of oh, it. Yeah. yeah, it's got to be over 60,000 square feet of upland. Uh, 60,000 feet at the acre, acre and a half. Of our property. Uh, on the, uh, so on this parcel right here, this is going to be a the acre and a half parcel. Um, I did flag. I, I'm also a wetland scientist, so I did flag the wetlands near uh, where they're going to build. 
And I would say we were cutting this lot out. There, there's hardly any wetlands within this parcel. Just maybe right down here in the bottom corner that we wouldn't be touching anyways. We would just be in the 100-foot uh, the buffer zone of this well. And, th and this wetland here goes all the way down and, and connects to the Park Street. Are you asking this? I have a question. I have a question. Um, so is this, when you say, I see proposed lot, are you splitting off a new parcel? Uh, out of this 37 acre parcel, yes, they'd like to split off one parcel that's about an acre and a half, 60,000 square feet, believe a little more, which okay. is required in that zone. So will you, got, will you be looking to build in the original parcel? No, we would be building in the proposed lot section. There's no plans for building in the other parcel, but the one that you're not, that you're splitting from? No, that's correct. That would be just family recreational land. Okay. I'm sorry, what was your response to that? Um, the rest of the parcel would just be left as, it's my grandfather's property, John Plumbo. Um, it would just be left as family, family property that we would, you know, use, but it wouldn't be buildable. We're just looking to um, build on that small, the acre and a half lot. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I have a little wetland to cross to get in there, right? I don't know. No, not really. Actually, uh, no. Because I can't tell on this drawing here. Yeah, here, uh, uh, here's Freeman Place. Know, I'm familiar with the area. Okay. I'm familiar with the area. Um, there are some wetlands down here, but to access where they're going to build, no, there wouldn't be any wetland okay. crossing. I went down there and walked around. So. That they can access the proposed yeah. lot from the. Concept. I've been in Freedom Way many times. Just never paid attention. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't had a reason to. <laughs> so the 37 acres overall lot that you that's available here are is that the I guess what my question is that the your proposed lot isn't clearly defined on this plan here. It's being cut out of the 37 acres. Yeah, yeah. Yes. If you look up here in the corner, there's a locus that shows the entire parcel and yeah. how uh, the frontage is on uh, Park Street and then comes up around uh, into uh, Freeman Freeman Place. So that that's kind of the, the locus of the entire. 37 acres right up there in that front yeah. that corner. So are we saying this this acre and a half here is defined by this solid lot line? Uh, the proposed, uh, yeah, this lot line right here, that's correct. That's right. Okay. And it puts the perk, the perk location in the middle of it. Too. Yeah, we, we did, yeah, we did perk this in the summer. But you still own the whole 37 acres. My grandfather does, yep. Okay. I don't see a problem with it with 54 Not a comment. Any questions? Anybody? Nope. Any motion? There's nobody on except for Tom. Nobody on? Just Tom Morales on. Okay. And Dan. What's the address of Park Street? It's 27, uh, 27 Park Street. I make a motion to grant a variance for 27 Park Street with 51.57 feet of frontage for a proposed acre and a half lot. There a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Done. Aye. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. We're excited to be on family property. So I don't, I'm not quite sure. Oh, we don't need that. You don't need the mylar. Planning board will need that. All right, so once we get the, the, the yeah. after the appeal process, then we go to the planning board and actually get yeah, the lot. I'm on the planning board, too, so. Oh, okay, all right, very good. That's when we'll sign the mylar. And... Okay, and Jim, will she be writing the decision? Will they be writing the decision? I don't know. Do you want to write the decision? Or... 
Oh, no. You want us to? I mean, I well, I don't know. I can do it. Why don't we just do it? Just... Okay. Good luck with you. Have a good night. Stay safe. Thank you. Okay, you have to come in with 81p for the lot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but excuse me. This has to be recorded once you have the decision. It needs to be recorded with the reg registry of deeds. So make sure that happens. Sure. And so then there's a how long's the appeal period? 20 days. 20 days. After the decision's filed. Sure. And then, and then after that, once we go through the appeal process, then I come back to the planning board. Yeah, once you come back to the planning board when 81 P. Sure. Okay. With the, take the variance with you because okay. we've had that before. Somebody shows up yeah. and says. So once the decision's written, and I pass it by Jim. Because yeah. everybody don't do it right I'll away. I'll send you. I'll sure. send you both a copy. And we'll record it. Yeah. yeah. A lot of times we had one just last You're week. They came in and, you know, we granted the variance four or five years ago. And they asked me, did, did you grant that? I couldn't remember what I did four, four, four. I can't remember what I did three weeks ago. So okay, take this decision with you. Thank you. Yep. Thanks, Thanks again. I appreciate it. Well, now somebody's on. Okay, that was easy. Very easy. All right. All right. We have a minute to move, right? Yeah. So now I have, to, uh, did you guys get the copies of yes, the minutes? Yes, I did. All right. Yep. I put hard copies there in case you no, I read them all. So these were the two in August. Yep. Oh, wow, we have video. <laughs> One motion to approve them. Did everybody read them? Yep. You? Did everybody get a chance to read them? The minutes? The minutes, did you get a chance to read them? I did not. Did you all right, there's it? some in front of you. Okay. Apologies, I read the application, but I didn't have a chance to go through the minutes. Well, I, in fairness, I only put the minutes out this today. Uh, I do have to say, sending that electronically ahead of time is terrific. Thank you. You're welcome. I, I don't mind giving the hard copies here, but I think if you have it ahead of time, it helps. It does. Anyone. Okay. If you done, Pat, I can make a motion. You can make a motion. Yeah, they will. You want to make a motion? I want me to. Make a motion to approve the minutes from the August 6th meeting for 79 Hartford Ave, 44 Hartford Ave, and 179 Blackstone Street. And 21 Bates. 21 Bates, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the top. Are you a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Make a motion to approve the minutes for August 20th of 42 Maury Street, 1 Quisset Road, and 179 Blackstone Street. There's second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, and there is no correspondence to the board. That's good. Any no heat this week? Nothing. <laughs> Tom, you're looking good virtually, man. Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> he's not sick. He's, he's, he's not That's sick. Yeah, I make more. I mean, well, look, Mendon's Mendon's red right now. So, oh, I, do I hear a second? Second, Pat. Second. All right. All in favor? To Aye. adjourn. Aye. 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 Have a great night, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Take care, man. Better stop.